All right. Hello. Good morning. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. And I've got, gosh, I've got just, uh, I've got bad news. You know, I've got bad news. So um, a federal judge in Texas has halted and put a injunction on the DACA program, all right? What he specifically ordered is that the Department of Homeland Security cannot approve. He's like, people can apply for DACA, but the Department of Homeland Security cannot approve DACA anymore, according to this federal court order. And, um, you know, you may have seen this in the news. You may have seen... Um, the, the Biden administration is planning on appealing this order, but the appeals process is not going to be easy. All right. And it's going through one of the most conservative federal judicial circuits um, that exists here in the U.S., the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. And also, you know, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is no longer on the Supreme Court. Right. So, the, you know, the Supreme Court has changed. So just because like even if um, uh, it's a, you know, whatever happens at the Fifth Circuit, if it's appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, which DACA has already been at the Supreme Court before. But if it is appealed at the Supreme Court, who knows what will happen now that we have a more conservative Supreme Court than we did just a year ago. And so the state of DACA is, um, it's going to be an uphill battle, all right? And, and I guess what, what I want people to know and what I think about it is, gosh, you know, um, it, really, it, it really highlights the need for Congress to do something. Because uh, what the judge is saying is that the way that the Obama administration created the DACA program uh, was not lawful. And, um, you know, they they talk about the regulation process versus just creating it as a Department of Homeland Security memo. Um, And so, you know, Biden and his administration will likely create some new response to this to to make uh, regulatory efforts to create DACA. But bottom line is we need a law, people. We need a law. Because there are kids that entered the United States as children and who are just stuck in this legal limbo. And some, you know, uh, every, it seems like every month or so, we've got a new, you know, uh, a new issue or a new thing or a new court saying something else about the DACA program. And let's just like create something that's actually solid for these people. All right. Um, anyway, that's all I'm going to say for right now. I'll do another, um, video where I go into greater depth and really walk through the decision so that you can see it. I'll share my screen. You can see the decision with me. Um, but for now, I just wanted to put the news out there that, you know, and I'm sure you've seen it on like the news news, um, already, but, uh, this is just a very disappointing um, tragic even decision undoing a program that, you know, it's, it's only here giving some kind of a benefit to kids who, you know, never even intentionally violated any law, right? They came here as children. They're, they're the undocumented innocent as, as we like to say. So, um, anyway, really disappointing, just want to share the news. I'll do a separate video that explains in much more depth the rationale of the judge. But really, the rationale is not what's important. The bottom line is the Department of Homeland Security is no longer able to approve DACA cases. And so really, the, 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 the important thing is, hey, Congress, it's time to do something. You know, stop sitting around. Stop waiting. You know, put your differences aside and freaking create a law that's actually going to resolve this issue because it's it's driving me crazy. It's driving my clients crazy. It's not a just system that we currently have. 
So Congress, fix it. All right. Thanks a lot. Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration, APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thank you. Bye-bye.